turned my truck into one of them hybrids. Getting amazing uh, gas mileage. But he's not. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just had a little uh, mishap. As you can see, I'm here at the AutoZone. So I needed to do a couple little odds and ends, so I decided I was gonna drive uh, all blue here, get a couple miles on it. So the drive here went great. Nothing was wrong, didn't overheat, didn't lose oil pressure, didn't leak anything, good to go. So then I go to fill it up at the Safeway across the street and I drive it over here afterwards and I get out and I'm smelling gas hardcore a good amount of it evaporated but it was just dumping fuel out of the return line so on this because I carbureted it I have a little clickety clock fuel pump on the uh, inlet going up to the carb and then for the return I didn't have it capped and that's where it was leaking and so I went inside with this thing dumping fuel went and grabbed a hose clamp and some vacuum plugs and it's not leaking now so yeah come on that was my little roadkill uh, thing of the day I guess since I'm under here, I can show you guys how I changed the exhaust. So I showed it uh, going into three inch single and then using a little bit of that four inch to go up and over the rear end and out. Well, I went to put in those V-band clamps I was talking about and just did uh, some eye measurements. Didn't like measure it or anything, just eyeballed it, cut, welded, went to put it on. It didn't fit. And so I went to fix it again kind of screwed it up again so then I was like screw it I uh, had some spare tubing spare glass packs turn downs clamps like everything I needed to this so now it's two and a half inch dual exhaust to these glass packs turn downs and hangers it's actually surprisingly not that loud it's not bad but yeah so that's the change on the exhaust so, yeah, I just figured since I had this little like roadkill style moment that I'd make a little video and sh show you uh, shit happens. Well, I thought I was going to end the video there, but I ran into another problem. Not sure what it is yet, but I was going to leave and got right there and the truck lost voltage shut off. Now when you turn the key on, nothing fucking happens. So I'm going to look at fuses and shit. Look at my battery cables, figure out what the fuck happened. All right, I checked all the fuses in the fuse box. None of them were popped. Uh, I started looking at the cables and wires. Everything appears to be hooked up and everything. And the inside of the truck, like the interior lights have power. So, but when you turn the key, nothing happens. Like the gauges don't turn on or nothing, stereo, none of that shit. So, Thinking it's a fusible link or something after talking to my dad. I haven't found it yet though. So went in there and I bought this uh, uh, splice in battery cable deal. So I'm gonna have the two cables there and then this I'm gonna have going to that other wire and then that's you know gonna go into the side post. Hopefully, then my truck has power. We'll see. Stay tuned. Little update report. I replaced the cable ends. And the main reason why I did that is I thought maybe this little fuse popped or something. But still doesn't have power. Time we'll get other things. Well, I end up just uh, calling my dad to come get me and pull me home. Where I can look at it more with uh, some actual tools. So I just have a little tiny toolkit with some sockets 
and I bought uh, a wire cutter and a pair of pliers when I was in there grabbing that battery cable. So I have like no tools to try to like test anything or I'm just kind of going on blind faith or whatever the hell you want to call it. But So that's going to be it. <clears throat> it was a little more exciting day than I thought it was going to be. Alright, till next time, keep between ditches, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See ya.